what was the experience? Like, I want a little bit more boxer details of what you remember and what made that fight so hard. So Mickey Ward, the reason why I tell people that was like one of the, the most toughest and challenging fights for me, because it came at a time in my life when I was only 15 and 0. Well, I was 14 and 0 going into my 15th fight. And I'm fighting a guy named Mickey Ward, Irish guy, white guy out of Boston, Mass. And they saying, you know, he's known for stopping people with body, with his liver shot that he got. He know how to yap and sit guys down and stop them. So I'm like, man, that's not going to happen. Not me. I'm too fast. I come coming out of the amateurs, 115 amateur fights, five losses. Phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Olympic background. Spawn with Pernell Whitaker every day. I'm, I'm, I'm like, this is cakewalk for me. You know what I mean? And I went in there. I trained my ass. I'm not going to lie. I trained my ass off. But at that time, when I was 14 and 0, by, by the time my career, I had so much confidence. I was confident. Everybody tell you, like, like you know what I mean? Like, I didn't I, I didn't believe nobody could touch me, beat me, nothing. Up until that, up until that fight, you could hear the announcer say it. I won every round up until that fight. With everybody, I never lost a round. And, and Mickey Ward fight was the first, I think it was the eighth round, he made the vice shot. That was the first round that I ever lost. You know what I'm saying? On my 14th fight. So, you know, the moral, the, the moral of the story is Mickey Ward was, it wasn't that he was uh, tough or hard. It was challenging for me. I came in there, he was known as a veteran. He had like 34 professional fights. He, he was up in like 20, he, he had more knockouts than I had fights. You know what I mean? So, at that time, I just said, okay, we taking the gamble, but I knew my gamble was real. I had a real game. I was coming out of Brownsville. I had heart like a lion. I had my pops with me. You know, anybody that know my father know that my father don't, he's a militant person. He don't play no games. So I had him with me. So he already had me pumped. Like, well, you could walk through a wall that's concrete. You know what I mean? So I was game. I mean, there was there was nothing that could have stopped me that night. Mickey Ward hit me with the lever shot. I was telling everybody he came in, I think about the eighth round, seventh, eighth round. I went down very low and I was thinking about sitting down. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I didn't do it. I, I, ran, I ran for the rest of the round until the bell rung to go back to the corner to get myself together. And I got myself together. I came back out and I just, I handled my business. But when I, when I say it was the most toughest fight, because I never in my life since that time been put in a situation where I had to like look at the guy I was fighting as like, superior to me you know what i mean like everybody i've ever, ever fought you know after getting it you know you know how it's, when you become a champion and you're a champion everybody is, is equal to you i mean not equal to you you better them like i'm a champ you, you're a challenger coming to try to get this opportunity in this fight mickey war was the veteran i was a young boy coming up but i knew that this was my threshold this was the he was um you know i don't want to call him the gatekeeper or anything like that because he was he wasn't a gatekeeper. He was a tough guy. But for me, in my world, this was the guy that I had to beat to excel to the next level, to be Zab Judah that I wanted the world to see and be. It was like it was what I'm hearing is it was like a test based on the 100%. experience. Like you're 100%. fighting a guy who you it's not the skill set you're fighting. It's fighting that he he doesn't have those jitters and he knows that like. Well, something I notice a lot in fighting is there's older fighters. I watched this with Xavier Martinez, uh, the guy who fought. He'll lay around late in rounds, kind of like your fight. I wonder if um, Ward did this, where they sneak in in the seventh, eighth, and ninth round is when they kind of turn up. They'll lull you into a sense of security, and then they get you hoping that you are going to be like, what the hell is happening? See, see, my dad told me that going to the fight. He said Mickey was a very smart, crafty guy. He said, um early apply a lot of pressure and put you know box box is good but you know so we got a thing called soft hard how we do is you know we let a couple punches out soft and then boom you know boom 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 boom, boom. you know what i'm saying so it's one of the things where he said go out there and play soft hard you know just touch and touch and then boom so early i'm not gonna lie i hit mickey ward with some hard hard punches so hard. get him out of there. Yes. And he took him like a champ. I'm not going to lie. So once we figured out that he was tough like nails, like he was like, like it, it, it wasn't, you know, what the myth about him wasn't bullshit. It was real. Once we figured that out, we, we went into boxing mode, which is box. 
I was faster than him. I was quicker. I was, you know, I, I was younger. I had the legs. And, um, yeah, I went in that box. But to this day, man, and it's crazy because I just did an interview with Mickey Ward. He flew because I live in Cal I'm in California right now. He flew to California from Boston Mass to come do an interview with me for one of his platforms for something that he's doing. And we this is like probably the first time that we got a chance to sit down and talk about our engagement and fight. And when that when that comes out, people are gonna see, you know. I kept it a hundred. I said, like, yo, bro, like that was devastating. You gave me the shot. I was sitting, I was slipping, but I was thinking about sitting down. But then, you know, my Brooklyn heart allowed me not to sit down. I was like, what? I, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like the pain as a man was like, oh shit, take a break, take a break, take a break. But you know, my heart was like, what? Never keep moving, move, 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 move. And that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Good thing I stuck with my heart and you know, I would tell people to this day, I have a lot of respect. He's one of the nicest gentlemen that, that, that I know to the day. And to this day, right now, just the other day, we just did it. We still, we're real tight friends. 